Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Welcome back to another episode of PM in the AM podcast, a comedy podcast designed for listeners of all ages. This show contains the kind of humor to make you laugh out loud no matter where you're listening. Join us each week as we dive into a bunch of topics covering the craziest things we can find on the internet. I am joined each week by co-host Blake Bushman. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> we are really excited to bring you guys a half hour of humor. This week... We've got a very exciting show. As you guys that are watching on YouTube can see, we've got kind of a sit-down conversation-style video. We got to do it in person. It's yeah. a, it's always a better in person. Yeah. Whenever we can do it in person, we like you know try try and mix things up. This is different than we've ever done it before, yeah. which is I don't know if you guys hate it, let us know, and we'll never do it again. But <laughs> it's, it's been kind of fun to try out. So no, we're definitely trying to upgrade our production quality, make it better for both listeners and viewers. We've been experimenting with a lot of things, as you guys have noticed. So. It's been really fun over the last couple of weeks. And speaking of fun over the last couple of weeks, we have to say, we have to bring up the bracket we did last week, which is the Halloween costumes that we personally had as kids. Blake dropped out of left field an insane costume oh, and it man. caught everyone off guard. Yeah, no, it, it caught me off guard that I even was willing to put that out on the internet. It it was one, I don't know, who, who ended up winning that one? You did. That was the, the because, winning costume. Okay, I was going to say, if I didn't... <laughs> I mean, I'll be fair. I forgot to post the rest of the polls, was, but the, after the first day, overwhelmingly was Blake. I would have been a little upset <laughs> had I put that out for the public to see, yeah. and I and I didn't win. So that one, I, I felt really good about. Oh, <laughs> absolutely. If you missed that one, we have a video on our Instagram, and it is young Blake dressed as Snow White, full face of makeup, yeah. full cape, costume, crown, everything was there. So it was just an excellent costume overall. Um and so, yeah, congratulations to Blake on that one. We have another exciting bracket coming up in this show. And this one is going to be geared towards helping you guys get ready for the holiday season. We know holidays means family parties. And family parties ultimately means Pain. awkward small talk. Oh, yeah, I know that too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, so we're going to try to help you out with, you know, when you run into your, your third great uncle that you see every three and a half years. And now you don't know what to say to him. Now we're, we'll try to help you out with, with what to avoid because there's some things that uh, yeah. that wouldn't help your situation. <laughs> yeah, there's some one-liners or some a couple words that can lead you into a trap that could turn into an hour of just awkwardly back and forth exchanging words. Yeah. We don't want that for you guys. So instead, we've been brainstorming all week, digging deep into the internet to find out what things you guys should avoid. So make sure you stay tuned until that. But before that, we actually have a very special... Um, Announcement for this week because we have two Porter's Pro tips. I've got back to back, back to back for the wow. first time okay. since probably like I'm October, excited. November 2021. We've got back to back pro tips, and the first pro tip is actually going to be a video pro tip, and um, we are going to be sharing it on our YouTube channel, posted on Instagram as well. If you're listening though, I'm going to be explaining it as well, so you're not going to miss out too much on it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and, and cue that up. So this, I'm, I haven't seen this before. I'm excited. This is an awesome video, and uh, unfortunately to my pain, this is like Tuesday morning, I'm walking around the couch, you can see me with my breakfast, and then boom, out of nowhere, I'm gone. So now let me ex explain what happened, and then I'll get to my pro tip. So I was waking up, this is first thing, this is 6.35 a.m. I'm just trying to get up, just trying to get ready for work, I'm exhausted, my eyes are still closed. The day before, my wife had put her treadmill. It's like a flat treadmill. There's not like a big stand-up thing that you can hold on to while you're on it. She put her treadmill on that side of the counter. <laughs> so poor Porter was walking around 6.30 a.m., <laughs> goes around the corner of the counter blind. It's still kind of dark. There were some lights on, but somehow I didn't see it there. I got both feet wedged under the treadmill, <laughs> and I just went flying face first. Into the ground. Oh. We have a little oh. uh, camera, like security camera facing the front door, and it catches it. So I'm going to go pl play it again. So now I need you to guys see that can, again, please. You guys can see more what you're looking for. So you see me walking around the counter. I got my bowl of oatmeal and my yogurt. <laughs> Boom! Sets down the yogurt. I want to show you guys how impressive that was. I set the yogurt down <laughs> mid fall. <laughs> And then at the very end, you see my leg kick up in the back. But yeah, that was me face first into the ground. I smacked right on my elbow, and I was just laying there like, oh, like I, I thought I broke my arm. I'm not kidding when I say I thought I broke my arm. I'm 
When you said it was a treadmill, I was only imagining you like walking on top of it, and then it just going to uh, <laughs> No. Which would have also been hilarious. No, yeah, that would have been good. But the video of you disappearing is uh, is fantastic. Yeah, it was like the perfect size to wedge your foot under. And so I wedge my foot under and then go face first into the ground. But the nice thing is I threw the yogurt, slid it across the counter instead of having it fall with me. So I avoided any spills. Yeah. I think the real pro tip from this is don't wake up early. Yeah. that's. I mean, if you were awake, you, would, you wouldn't have had this situation. You would have known, oh, hey. That treadmill's there. I'm not going to step on it. So the real problem is society starts far too early in the day. We all need to push yeah. it back a couple hours. So No, that is true. I could have avoided all the pain, bruised elbow, uh, hurt arm, everything that came with that. I could have avoided it had I not been up early with one <laughs> half brain cell working. Okay, can we talk about this for a second? I had a thought the other day, uh -huh. and this is sort of related, but sort of not. Why is it that for – because there's the morning people and night people. You hear it all the time, like, oh, you're a morning person, night person. I myself am a night person. I, I do wake up early out of obligation. Yeah. I have school and I have works. So like, I don't have a choice. But I was thinking about it the other day. Why is it okay for morning people to be like, oh, I can't stay awake past 9 o'clock, and they all go to bed. But for a, a, or a, but a night person, if they can't wake up at 6 and don't function in the morning – then they're a menace to society. Like I, my brain does not click in until right around 10 a.m. Like yeah. I'll wake up anytime. But society is catered to morning people, and it's absurd. All right, and that's why for this podcast we teach you all to become morning people. But I, I kind of agree there. I haven't thought about it that way. Mainly yeah. people that are up till one, two a.m. are seen more as degenerates. And the people that wake up at 4 or 5 a.m. are seen as inspirations. Yeah, and it's a joke. <laughs> That's it's, actually a really good Because one. we're even if we're awake for the exact same amount of time in the day, we could do the exact same tasks. Mm -hmm. If you do it at 1 a.m. versus doing it at 5 a.m., for some reason, 1, 1 a.m. you're a procrastinator. Yeah. 5 a.m. you're a wow. go-getter. I had that realization the other day, and I think... Us as a society, you know, we're all morning people here as part of the show, mm -hmm. but whether you're a morning person or night person, I think we can come together and just push push the time back a little bit, you know? I yeah. Think we'd all be better off. That's actually a really good point. I think you guys need to reach out. Maybe that's the big pro tip that comes from this. My pro tip is just going to be like check both ways for treadmills before crossing <laughs> because I, I, I really <laughs> thought I was going to break my arm and I was just thinking in the moment like, wow, now I can't go to work. Like I can't go to school. Like now I'm just broken because I just tripped over a treadmill. Fortunately, <laughs> this has been a week now and I am fine. So no, no donations to the GoFundMe or anything. I'm going to be okay. I'm going to make it through. Um, but that's my first pro tip of the day. <laughs> and the second pro tip, Blake was actually a part of this pro tip. It was actually, we had a nice friends gathering last night oh. and I made a critical mistake and I kind of want Blake to tell the story and then I'll wrap it up with the pro tip. I'm not even sure where you're going with oh, this. Okay. I mean, I got it. So okay, we show up to this uh, pizza making power oh. party. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. It, it took one thing. I knew I knew you were gonna figure it out, but okay. So we've learned since we were little kids that you need to wash your hands. That's uh, you know, you go to the bathroom, you wash your hands. You get dirty, you wash your hands. Before dinner, you wash your hands. It's a it's a well known thing. I'm people so do. so ashamed of this now <laughs> thinking about this. And Porter, you know, he's he's been having some car troubles, if I remember right. And you were, you know, you were really getting your, your grease monkey on and, you know, turning the wrenches. And you came and your hands were just covered in motor oil, 100%. Dirt, grime, dust, anything that you could that you could put on there. And we were making pizzas. You know, this wasn't like we got Little Caesars. You know, we were, we were putting our hands in the dough and really getting in there. And Porter put his hands on the dough, didn't realize that his hands were filthy, just started wiping them off and you just you would look at this dough a beautiful piece of pizza dough that was ready for consumption and it was covered in unspeakables it, it was, <laughs> and the sad part about it is i couldn't even realize what was happening my wife asked me she's like why are there like black splotches in the dough and i'm like i don't know and then she looks at me and she's like well did you wash your hands before you made the dough and i was like that's it you you got you got it that's what it was and i felt like such an idiot i felt so stupid i was the butt of every joke at that party that night she didn't eat that pizza she had to make herself a separate pizza 
she was upset and frustrated. And so, I mean, I apologized and I felt terrible because I wasn't doing it on purpose. It was just my own stupidity. <laughs> so that's why I want to invite you guys to always wash your hands, yeah. always follow the proper food safety when it comes to anything in the kitchen. <laughs> Make sure you're just doing the right thing when it comes to that. How did it taste? It actually tasted really good. So I put a little mozzarella and bacon in the crust and kind of added like a stuffed crust. And I, I thought it was No, I mean, mozzarella, bacon. <laughs> and motor oil. Motor oil. <laughs> it's a little salty, so it kind of just brought all the flavors together, I would say. so. It made it go down really easy. Oh, oh yeah. So that's... Yeah, absolutely. No, overall, wouldn't recommend. So that's why I'm recommending you guys can wash your hands before you prepare anything in the kitchen. And that's going to save you guys not only... Uh, health disasters, but also you're not going to get yelled at or made fun of. So looking out for you guys on that one. And I'm really glad I had that, that tip to share with you. Um, but moving on, we've got a listener submit a question that we're really excited to ask this week. And that is if we could get rid of one exercise, what would that be? Blake, do you want to go first? On yeah, one? I feel very passionate about this. Uh, when we got this question, I was thinking about it. I thought, what is something that makes me want to die more than anything else in this world? Oh, no. And this might be a little controversial because uh -huh. there's people who love this. And I think they're all liars. There's no way that anybody could love running. <laughs> that's, like, that's actually really funny because I was talking to my wife about this just yesterday. And I was like, people pay to run. It's absurd. <laughs> they, people, like, just, they'll go do these half marathons and marathons. Uh -huh. And you have to pay to enter those, uh -huh. I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah. And... No amount of money in the world could yeah. make me want to run a marathon. Like the thought of saying, "Hey, I ran a marathon." Guess what? If you say that, I probably hate you. Like I can't. It's oh my god. I and running. It's probably bad for your knees. I'm certain of it. Like go ride a bike. You know, like that sounds way better. Well, as we sit in Blake's house and we see a bike in the corner, so we know yes. which one he's obviously more yeah. inclined to. But I mean, I agree. Running. I don't understand how people just go sign up for these races, pay a bunch of money. I mean, I guess they get the water table with the T-shirt and the medal included if they finish. Yeah. But to me, it just seems kind of ludicrous that you could pay all that money or you could just go, you know, set up a certain distance and say, I want to prove to myself that I can run this far. I'm just going to go run this far and run back. No, it's – and people are like, no, I do it for, like – that's my me time. Yeah. Like, shut up. Get – No. <laughs> I hate it's a that. hobby that doesn't make you healthy. Yeah, no, okay. that's, that's probably true. I'm a professional eater. Runners are probably something, very something healthy. Normal, I, yeah. I, there's not a lot of fat people that are out there. Yeah. It. But I, I just can't stand it. And yeah. I don't think that people actually enjoy it. I, I have a hard time with it. So running, big no-no in my mind. So, All right. Well, that brings it over to me. And I personally don't like to run that much. And so I can kind of agree. Back with to back on running. All no, right. I'm not going back to back on running because I have one that is a thousand times worse than running because it makes you feel like you have blood in your lungs every time you do a set of 10. And that is Run. Bur no, that is burpees. <laughs> burpees are the yeah, worst burpees are pretty exercise bad. ever invented. For those who don't know, that's a push up and then like a jumping jack type deal. Yeah. First of all, if you do it, you look stupid. Second of all, your, your lungs are on fire and... All you're doing is a push-up and a jumping jack. Just do them separately. <laughs> Don't do them together. Here's the thing with burpees is, like, they're probably worse than running. The difference yeah, is for sure. I don't know because I'll get about three burpees in. I'm like, that's, that's probably enough. <laughs> <laughs> so how many steps do you get into a run? That's the problem. When you run, you can't just quit. You have to call an Uber to get back. Like, <laughs> that's true. Like you, you get stranded. You, you go out three miles. you got to come back yeah, that whole that's, way. It's that's not... definitely part of the planning that has to go into that. But if I'm doing burpees, I can get up and I can walk away. <laughs> <laughs> so you can walk away before your lungs start burning. So. Yeah. So that's pro I'll get, I give about 30% on any burpee I've ever done in my whole life. So, uh, Well, there you have it. Blake's a 70-30 uh, guy, 30% into the actual exercise <laughs> and 70% into thinking about how we can leave the exercise behind and that's, quit. That's pretty <laughs> accurate. That's, that's <laughs> and with burpees, I think that's about the right ratio that you want there to stay yeah. healthy. Um, but thanks for asking that question. We're going to be posting that on our social media to have you guys answer as well. We'd love to hear some more hated exercises. I know there's some people that are passionate pro exercises as well as people that are, you know, they're healthy and fit, but they don't love all the exercises. So we definitely want to hear from you guys. And um, we'll be posting that again on our social media for you guys to answer. Stay tuned. After this, we're going to get into the bracket of the most awkward small talk questions. So don't go anywhere.
And we are back. We've got the segment to save you from all your terrible, awkward, holiday, family situations that you're trying to avoid. We've been looking out for you guys. We've come up with these uh, questions, and we are going to discuss why they should not be used. Yeah, and honestly, we can use them in more than just holidays, at least for mine. These are things that, in fact, i got to admit, I'm guilty of using a lot yeah. of these. Like I, As I was making this list, I was like, why would I say that? Like, it was, <laughs> as you Google things not to say to somebody, it's like the top one is like, like oh, crap, this oh, is my go-to. That's my, yeah, for real. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, even if you uh, are avoiding your family at all costs over the holidays, mm-hmm. I think you'll still be able to use this at uh-huh. work, at, you know, wherever you're running into people. So I have the first pick, yep. and I, I'm going to start with one that, that I've thought of multiple times. We actually got it sent in to us as well when we posted it on our story. Oh, man. And that is just the classic, how are you? <laughs> and you want to know why that's so dumb? And I've had this same thought, and the person who sent it in agreed with me, so maybe this is a pretty universal thing. But whoever asks you how you are, mm-hmm. and whenever you ask how somebody is, Nobody cares. Like, nobody, you don't care how that person's doing. You're just filling a void of conversation. It's the most pointless thing because, Porter, if I were to ask, ask this to you, hey, Porter, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Exactly. It's, Every time, it's, a, it's an automatic it's response. Worst, yeah. You put no thought oh, into okay. that. You're all, as soon as you hear, how are you? It's a, I'm good. How are you? Like, yeah. And there's a couple, like, generic responses that yeah. maybe your brain will just, like, cycle between. But oh. you're never giving an honest answer. You're never like, you know what, man? Like, I'm actually going through something right now. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if somebody just sprang that on you. Oh, that'd be terrible. Exactly. So I'm going to go with how are you because it's you're not going to get any authentic response out of it. Uh-huh. And so it's a, I'm going to avoid that at all costs. Man, that's a really good one. That is probably the most generic. I personally... Yeah. I'm guilty of that. Oh, how are you? Oh, good. Good. How are you? All good. the time. Every, every day. It ends so awkwardly. Good. How are you? Good. All right. Maybe just leave it at that. Maybe move on. But yeah. terrible question overall. Uh, if you want to avoid holiday small talk, I would come up with a better question than that. Yeah. Exactly. Um, but that brings me into a next category. And I think this is a really good thing to avoid generally around the holidays is like talking about po- politics or like, mm. oh, the election, huh? Oh, oh yeah, no, that's... That phrase right there gets you in trouble no matter where you are. You're either going to go too passionate into the topic, you're going to be on opposite ends of the spectrum and just create anger yeah. and, and... There's always that one person who's going to be opposite to you, so you never want to risk it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, that's, that's an excellent thing to avoid, especially like holiday parties. You can ruin the holiday... <laughs> A holiday party with like one little, <laughs> you could say like one word and everybody, yeah. I mean, start throwing hands. So and it, Politics is just yeah. a trap because you might think you guys are all aligned on the same side and you don't know that really deep down somebody was completely against that and all it takes is the, yeah. oh, the election, huh? And they're never coming back. Yeah. I mean, that's... And you ruined the family forever. <laughs> that's what's at stake here, folks, and that's what we're trying to... Uh, to and they come across here. Yeah, so I think you went a little bit different direction than what I did on some uh, of these questions because I went with more like just the generic annoying questions that okay. we get asked. Yeah. That's probably like one of the worst questions to ask. Yeah. I just went with the most annoying things that I get asked or that talk about like generically because my next one is, so how about that weather? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that, that's, that's another small talk classic. Uh you know, where we are, we've got a, some good snow in the in the last week, good snow rain yeah. mix. And so a lot of people will just be like, man, this last week, we got a lot of moisture. We got a lot of precipitation. <laughs> oh, and we've been needing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we needed it after last year. We're in a drought. But that conversation is so anti-productive. Oh, like, it does nothing useless. for either participant exactly. besides the fact that you act like you work for the Weather Channel. <laughs> yeah. yeah, nobody's an expert uh, in the like, – Guys, I was also just outside. I'm well aware that it was raining. Like, you know, yeah. you don't need to remind me. I wasn't buried underground for the last six and a half months. Like, yeah, I no know. groundhog. <laughs> so, so, yeah, avoid that. And, I mean, it's not as as controversial as politics maybe, but, you know, you're yeah. not getting anywhere with asking about the weather. So, For sure, a terrible small talk happens. That's probably one of the most famous small talk questions. Oh, yeah. I think, how's, how's the weather? So, Absolutely. That's another good one. All right, so I've got another one. I think it 
is another controversial one as well, and that is asking somebody about the size of their family. If they're ready to expand their family, asking, oh, hey, to a, to a woman, are you pregnant? Boom. She's oh. pregnant. <laughs> that is probably about the most uncomfortable. Personally, <laughs> have never and will never ask that question. And so I have never had to be yes. in this situation. I have been around others that have oh. made the mistake. Oh. And it is untrue for it, the person they ask. Horrible <laughs> secondhand embarrassment. You just feel sick to yeah. your stomach. It, the, the thing is, though, the person who asks that question usually is like, the grandma uh-huh. and like they don't care you know uh-huh. they're, they're like hey so you pregnant i i wrote down on my list like when are you going to start having kids oh, yeah. that's like a popular one as uh-huh. well but asking somebody if they're pregnant is a terrible yeah. idea that's that <laughs> is risky business like you have to be a like, anti your family to bring this up at the holiday season because that will <laughs> that in politics and weather i mean you're just trying to tear your family like, no apart. surely i'm just fat <laughs> <laughs> It's been a hard year, okay? If you're going to ask somebody if they're pregnant, maybe ask, like, your uncle. Yeah. <laughs> that might be funny. Yeah, because if it's, like, Thanksgiving, they're getting a little belly, you know? Like, that's that could be a good a good humorous thing to yeah. say. But if avoid asking women that at all costs. At all costs. <laughs> Can't stress that enough. All right. I'm going to – I got to think here. Now I'm going through my list, and I, I hit the two most generic things that, that we've talked about. Like, like the, the people talk about in small talk conversations and stuff. But I'm going to go with uh, just just the, like, generic, you know, what's new? What's new? Ah, oh, that sucks. That's a terrible question. I hate it. Like, oh, I new? hate having to talk about myself. Like, I, I'm not a, you know, I can carry on a conversation with people just fine. Uh-huh. But if I have to talk about myself, mm-hmm. like, what I've done, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm working. I'm going to school. Like that's <laughs> uh, and that's been the same for probably about five years because that's oh, how yeah. it is for me. Yeah, nothing is new, and nothing that's a exciting. Terrible, yeah, I mean, this year, luckily, you know, I got married, so I could use that. Oh yeah, that's. A good but idea. I mean, you've been married for a few years, and so now, what's new? Yeah, school, marriage. Yeah, especially if, like if you run into somebody that you went to like high school with, or like oh, yeah. just you haven't seen in forever, and and they're like, oh hey, what's new? It's like. Dude, I haven't seen you in 10 years. You want me to give you the life story <laughs> since then? Like, <laughs> like, you don't care. If you cared about what was new in that time, you would have reached out. <laughs> so, that's, that's a question I hadn't. That wasn't even on my radar. That is a terrible question. Yeah. I can't. That would be like um, I run into somebody I and I, I panic. That's what's going to oh. come. Oh, oh, what's new? Yeah. That's, that's the I feel obligated to carry on a conversation oh. with you, but I have nothing to talk to you about. That's, terrible that's the That's what it goes to. So, huh. That's a really good one. I didn't even think about that. So, <laughs> man, we're kind of cruising through this list. And my next one kind of goes along with the one that I talked about previously. And that is, have you lost weight this year? Or have you been, have you lost weight in general? You've been working out? Yeah, because <laughs> I have seen that question go wrong before where they're like, no, I actually haven't. I've actually like put on like five pounds this year or ten pounds, you know. Okay, oh, awkward. I think the bigger problem than ans- than asking that question is the people who are like, no, I've actually put on weight. Like, just be like, oh, no, thanks. You don't need to be like, oh, I've actually put on 15. Like, that's just rude. That's what makes it awkward. Yeah. <laughs> so, But if you've been asking somebody if they've been exercising, that's also like a little bit like, hey, condescending. You, you were fat before. What happened? <laughs> like, yeah. You're like, wow. So, yeah, no, that's definitely one that you would want to avoid because uh, – you're, you're just going to get in trouble. It's not worth It's not worth it. Yeah. So, excellent. Especially if they've got into running or burpees or anything. You just don't even want to know yeah. potentially about their fitness regiment yeah. as well. Yeah. If they've been running, you want to avoid them because they're a little <laughs> they're a little crazy. Sure. So, all right. I got I to gotta come up with my last one here. I got a list that I have quite a few left over. We actually didn't have a lot of overlap, uh-huh. which which is surprising. Usually we do. So uh, I'm not sure which where to go with this one. But I'm going to go with the the one for the people who are single. Oh. And there's people who are single that get asked this question a lot. Oh, we've, terrible. We've made it out of this stage. Yeah. We've not made it under the are you having kids stage. <laughs> but there's people who are asking, so are you dating anyone? Oh, that's a terrible one. It's the worst. And I'm sure that, you know, you haven't been married too long. This is probably still a little fresh yeah. to you. Uh, do you have any experiences of being asked that? Yeah, so... I mean, for the previous, I mean, last holidays, I was dating my fiance or my wife, now my wife, but yeah. then we were together, you know, so I didn't get that question, but previous, you know, five, seven years, 
at holiday meals, that's what you get. Are you dating anyone? Has a dating life? Blah, 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 blah. It's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> and it, I mean, a lot of times it wasn't going the way I wanted it to go. It wasn't going very good. And so. <laughs> Do you see somebody here with me? Yeah, it's exactly. not going well. <laughs> well. Don't ask about it. Exactly. That's, <laughs> that's just a question that. I mean, maybe it could be brought up in a different way. Like, have you gone any on any fun dates recently? Yeah, that's put a more positive yeah. spin on it, I guess. You're like, oh yeah, I went and did this. Like, it may not have ended up working out with that person, but like, we went bowling and I got yeah. a strike, <laughs> which is a big accomplishment. I striked out, but I yeah. struck. So. <laughs> yeah, I struck out, but I got the bowling strike. But I mean, I just think there's a lot that question on it on itself horrible yeah and i am so glad i moved on <laughs> getting asked the kids question is much better to me than ask getting asked that yeah so yeah that's a banger that's a really good pick that could that could make some come from behind upsets yeah we'll see but yeah i'm looking at my last pick now and oh this is this is difficult um and i think i'm gonna take a classic i haven't really taken any classics and that is going to be sup <laughs> That is an abbreviated question that already sucked. <laughs> that guy just, I mean, you could go so many different directions. I think that's the problem with the question. What's up? I'm like, hmm. It's, it's a terrible conversation starter. And you know what's even worse than a conversation starter? When they say the sky. Oh, man. Or that's, the ceiling. That's, that's the uncle. That's, yeah. that's your uncle that will hit you with that, that one every is time. Not <laughs> only a terrible question, but it's a trap. <laughs> It's horrible. No, I agree. It's like the people, and this goes back to the people who are dating a lot too. Oh, yeah. Guys, I'm going to give you Blake's pro tip. If if you're a single person, I know that that might not be our uh, our target audience. Maybe not target audience is the wrong, but majority of our audience yeah, might, yeah. might not uh -huh. be single. But if you are single and you're trying to woo a potential suitor, <laughs> <laughs> woo. don't hit them with the what's up. All right? It never... It, it doesn't work. Yeah. It doesn't work. Yeah. Especially via message. Yeah. Because the problem is you can go so many different ways with that question. You need a more direct question. Yeah. I mean, maybe like, what's up with your jaw, you know? And that's still not a great question, but at least you've got a yeah. direction for the person receiving the question so that they can they can take that and run with it a little bit. Yeah, it's such a lazy question. Yeah. That's really what it is. So, so. No, what's up? <laughs> yeah. Terrible question. I do. I am curious, Blake. What are some of your honorable mentions? Yeah, so I'll, I'll go through some that I have here. I actually have quite a few left over. What's up was probably my next uh -huh. one that I would have taken. Um, but I have one that people say all the time on like dates and stuff, which is just so. Tell me about yourself. It's oh, not not as much of a question. Yeah. Dates, interviews. Yeah, but like questions. I hate I hate that question yeah. because, like I said earlier, I hate talking about myself. It's like, what do you want to know? I, <laughs> I have a family. Like, <laughs> yeah. you're, you're not getting any good information out of that. I also have, uh, what did you do over the weekend? That's a good, that's a work classic. Oh, I work hate it. Too. Do, you, yeah. do you do anything fun over the weekend? No, I, I do the same thing every weekend, okay? <laughs> and then the one weekend you're like excited, you're like waiting there, and then that person doesn't come in to ask me. Gosh dang. Like, yeah, what do they expect? Oh, I actually went to Greece for the weekend. <laughs> like, you're not getting anything good out of that. Oh, yeah. So just... Leave it, okay? <laughs> that has to be asked by people with better plans than you, and they know. Oh, it. yeah, no. Yeah. The only people who are asking that, did you do anything fun, is the people who did something fun. So <laughs> maybe you could honestly torture them by just not asking in return. You're like, oh, no, I didn't do anything fun. Uh, no, not really. Smack the keyboard, <laughs> start working again, and don't even give them. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, yeah. That's that's about it that I got. Yeah, that's a really good list. Uh, those are some really good honorable mentions. I can't believe they didn't even make the list. Yeah. But. I also have uh, religion, you know, so Ugh. that could be a touchy subject for a lot of people and could definitely yeah. divide a family during the holiday season. It has yeah. happened multiple times, so maybe if you know somebody within a uh, different religion is making different decisions, maybe approach that outside of a family party is yeah. what I'm trying to say. Yeah, you exactly. have to approach that, leave it rest at a family party, and just let everybody enjoy the time. And then I also, I also threw on uh, COVID-19. <laughs> because if you bring up anything like that you're gonna find the say it's basically politics yeah that's uh, that that goes directly into politics yeah. which is weird yeah but it does and so yeah that's a and i hope that we're past that like yeah. I, I hope i don't get asked about covid 
this year in this holiday oh, yeah. season. Like oh, I yeah. would smack somebody. But the last <laughs> two holiday seasons have been so annoying about yeah. kind of oh, those yeah. questions, and so it's it's been a good small talk. It's like, oh yeah, like COVID, yeah. It, it canceled this for me and this for me, and yeah. and then another thing is just it, this is more of a classic as well. It's just how are things? Oh, because you don't know what things they're talking about. How are things? <laughs> how, how are things? Well, the vacuum's great. The uh, the guitar is sitting over there. How things are things great? Like, yeah. yeah. It's, how it's are the things? Yeah, there's just too many things that you yeah. can go it's, from there. It's the vague. I've come to the conclusion that it's like the vague questions uh-huh. or the questions that like don't lead anywhere. That yeah, are really these things? Because then it's like. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, if we have any listeners out there, I'm going to follow this this small talk bracket up with, if there's any listeners out there that know how to escape, you've had a small talk conversation, I've asked you one of these questions, you've responded, and it's dead. How do you escape that comfortably? Because I'm just sometimes the guy oh, who just kind of just like migrates away and is like, oh, just I'm needed over here. Slowly, yeah. slowly <laughs> backs away during the conversation. Yeah. And I hate that. So if yeah. any listeners out there can come up with a good way of excusing yourself that's a good uh, way to not feel too awkward. It's got to be emergency bathroom break, right? Yeah, that's a good yeah, one. I feel like that's like, whoop, 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 got to go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just sprint. <laughs> we'll have to see what the listeners think, but this might be a good follow-up question. Anyway, thanks to everybody who tuned in this week to our conversation video podcast. Yeah, that was fun. Audio podcast anywhere you get your podcast. Thanks for the support. Please leave us a five-star review or drop a like on the video and make sure to subscribe uh, wherever you're listening or watching this podcast. Uh, Thanks so much for all the support, and we will catch you guys next week. Peace out. Congrats on making it all the way to the end. We hope you enjoyed the show. You are now officially part of the PM and the AM fan base, the morning people, and we are super pumped to have you here. Now that you're a part of the crew, please share the episode with a friend, and make sure to check out the rest of our shows and social media content for more hilarious brackets, crazy questions, and an overall great time. Thanks for listening. It truly means a lot to us, and we'll catch you guys next week.